Hey yo, what's good? It's your favorite Straw Hat Nico. And I gotta say, One Piece chapter 903 really hit the spot. Allow me to explain. Sanji, Raid Suit, and Wano, can you imagine? Dope Sanji fights. I need this. I'm a Sanji stan. I understand he's a chef first, but let's stop playing for a second. Sanji hates his family, but he still saved them. So that means he low-key loves them. He cares for them on some level, right? Because he would let them die, but he didn't. And think about it like this. With the raid suit, he'll be twice as strong, and raid suits are made to boost your abilities. So if Sanji's ability really is Yanbe Janbe, imagine that, boost it, bruh. It's gonna be wild with this seasoning. And with Wano, we don't know how it's gonna go down. We don't know if the Shogun gonna be the main boss, and then we're about Kaido. We don't know if we need team attacks again. I'm hoping for team attacks, because in my mind, the way to beat Kaido you're gonna have to basically use every bit of power you can to knock him down, and then Luffy had to deliver the final blow. Just the way I see it in my mind. Because to me, Kyle sounds like a really strong Nomu. You just need enough damage to actually beat him, but even then, he's made to take damage. And he's strong too, so it's gonna be very, very interesting. You see my hero, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. But anyways, also, Zeus with Nami makes me kind of nervous because Big Mom probably is going to chase them even longer in the way she finds them by using Zeus. Because Zeus can be basically a living beaver card because he's part of Big Mom's soul. She can easily find the straw hats and say, hey, little girl, you took my soul? My man, Zeus, you ain't slick. You got to pay for this life or death or something like that. I don't know what she about to do, but I can see her coming up on Nami and doing her soul pocus. Because think about it, she has all the reasons to go after Nami. Nami's how Luffy defeated Cracker. And Nami basically scared all the homies away using Lola's Beaver card. So she has a lot of reasons to go after Nami and probably kill her, but I can't see her actually killing Nami. But she may either scare Nami, and since Nami isn't that strong-willed, her and Big Mom, if something happens, if something happens, it's gonna be very, very spicy. Literally, I can see Prometheus scolding Zeus like, why are you with this woman, bruh? I didn't say he was hungry, but come on, bruh. You went to the enemy side. You got to pay a little price for that. Me and Napoleon going to beat you up when you get home. Just know that now. And for that reason, don't be her mama again. If we leave her sight, we will kill you, bruh. Just know that now. Something along those lines. Really spicy. But then the one thing about Reverie that got me super excited, I feel like we just got a foreshadow to how it goes down. So in my mind, here's what Reverie is. It's a giant group discussion. Where the worlds of the world decide, okay, how do we want to handle the biggest threats? How do we handle certain situations that we want to change? Maybe think about trade deals and everything in between. So maybe the first point of discussion would be, okay, how are we going to handle Straw Hat Luffy? He's basically a Yonko now. We can't have that. Dealing with the others is already a headache. Now he's in the picture. Trying to take on the other Yonko. And we all about Blackbeard too, so what are we going to do? And then Kaido here, I think he's making some moves. So they could send Greenbill after Luffy and think of a plan for Kaido to at least stall, worry about the revolutionaries, try to find out what Sabo and them are doing, all the other stuff. But it's gonna be interesting because think about the doors right now from Totland. They can't make it known they're part of the Straw Hat fleet. Cause if they do, it's gonna make things harder. Cause in my mind, I feel like they're gonna have like one person in the middle, he's mediator and he's gonna say, okay, so we're gonna try to do votes for how we want to do things, tackle on issues. But try your best to stay impartial on certain things. And if he knows going in that Dressrosa and their king and their princesses already siding with Luffy, plus Fishman Island, no, no, no. They shut everything down and probably put more pressure on pursuing the Straw Hats, my St. Greenbull, and someone else, maybe Kobe there. I'm reaching with that, but think about it. The world government, they don't play games. And to my understanding, they made the Yonko title. So they had the three great powers. And we already know how it goes. Yonko, the four pirates, or just great pirates that they know. If they ever do anything, it's going to be like World War III. And they're trying to stop that on everything. So that's why I see why you... This is why I see... This now makes sense why Luffy's the fifth Yonko. He's dangerous. Think about all the stuff he's done so far. And the fact that... Big News Morgan said he beat a Yonko Big Mom, and now Kaido's like, how did that brat throw my trade? Defeat her. Ooh. So Kaido has some beef with Big Mom, low-key and high-key, 
But I do wonder, does Big Mom have like children in Wano and then she met Kaido and for some reason they don't get along because of something to pass, one night stand, whatever the case may be, who really knows? But knowing Big Mom, if she got kids in Fishman Island and she's still willing to actually attack Fishman Island, it wouldn't surprise me if the same thing happened in Wano. It wouldn't, to be honest with you. But yeah, this chapter is really spicy, but I like how Kobe kept his cool. He's like, yo, we can make moves out here, but I can't really talk about it because I'm a side Marine. So that's why I find it so interesting. So people like Kobe, people from Dressrosa, people from Fishman Island side with Luffy, and they go into Reverie like that? It's a bad idea. That means it's going to make things super tense because from my understanding, the world government does not like Luffy at all. And they want to get rid of him as soon as possible. But they can't because he has a fleet now. And he has a lot of allies. And they probably don't know all the allies and they wonder if any of those allies turn out to be kings and queens. It's GG, no re. So whatever they do, they got to tread carefully. This is a very good situation. Reverie's off to a very, very spicy start. So I'm feeling like his is going to go down. Here's how I think it's going to go down. We're going to get Reverie for a little piece of the next chapter, and we switch over to the Strats going to Wano. It's going to be sensational, bro. I cannot, I cannot wait. And what Shanks was saying, he did say he will see Luffy becomes a great pirate. Luffy right now is becoming a great pirate. He's a Yonko now, according to world government, did all this crazy stuff basically beat Big Mom in a way. Not physically, but he did get away with to tell his story. So that in a way is beating her, I guess you could say. So Big News Morgan, he didn't lie, he just stretched out the truth, if you ask me. And if Shanks somehow sees Luffy and Wano, or they go next, I'ma cry, bruh. He's like, hey, Luffy, let me get that hat back, bruh. And he's like, oh, here you go. Next thing you know, Shanks is like, you know what? You can keep it, you earned it, and Shanks dies. That's gonna hurt my feelings on everything. I mean, this is why I feel like Shanks, if someone's gonna die, think about it. If Luffy is considered a Yonko, don't you think uh, Yonko's gonna go down somehow? And remember in Punk Hazard, Luffy hold up three fingers, but said I would beat all the Yonko. So I'm wondering, oh, does that mean that's Oda's foreshadowing to say Luffy will take on three Yonko, but one goes down and it makes him technically the fourth or whatever the case may be. And we don't know what Blackbeard is plotting, but I feel like maybe Blackbeard will show up to Reverie. Or maybe the revolutionaries, they're going towards Reverie and trying to lead Blackbeard elsewhere. Hmm. I wonder what's going to happen next. And I was talking to somebody on Discord and they were saying they think Marco going to join the Straw Hats. No, I see Marco and the remnant of the Whitebeard Pirates most likely join the Straw Hat fleet. And they're saying the reason why? Straw Hats. Whitebeard, we have to protect his territories. And we have to get back at Blackbeard. We would love to join you, but we have our hands full and stuff we want to do. No hard feelings. Need us? Hit us up for anything. That's why I see it. That's why Luffy has a Straw Hat fleet in the first place. So anyone that can't join for whatever reason, they can just say, we're part of Straw Hat fleet. If you need some, we'll come to you, and vice versa. So Oda, you're making a very, very spicy arc. It's probably my favorite saga in all of One Piece so far. Just so much is going on. So much schemes. But I do wonder, how can Reverie go down? Because I can't see an ending on a peaceful note. It would be the biggest Reverie of all time. And then for Wano, I wonder, how is it going to like start out? So, to my understanding, I think Wano's going to be like a little isolated island. Kind of like we happy for you. Where it's like, yeah, they can know stuff, but no one gets in or out. So then, let's say the Straw Hats win. Maybe they break the border so people can start leaving. Or, you know, seeing everyone else, different islands, whatever the case may be. But it's still going to be a very interesting ride. 903 is the start of something beautiful. That's why I love One Piece so much. It's like a lot of stuff happens, but it always, always hits the spot. I understand my predictions may not come true, but it doesn't have to be. I just want a good ride. And Oda still has a lot to show us because, yeah, we know what's needed to get to the One Piece. We don't know where the last point glyph is. It could be in Wano. It could be Kaido or someone has it somewhere stashed up. It could be lost in a sea somewhere. It could be with Shanks and he's just waiting for Luffy or someone to give it to. It could be Whitebeard stashed it somewhere, but I don't, no, I don't think so, bro. But we don't even know. The possibility is endless. So if you read the chapter, what's your thoughts on it? What stood out to you? What got you hyped? What made you say, oh, shucks, it's going down. But yeah, that's all I want to say about this chapter. Hopefully, 
I dressed everything in my mind. But yeah, I'm excited for Wano and Reverie. But mostly Reverie because what happens to Reverie determines the rest of the saga in my mind. If it goes good, the Straws may have an easier time getting that last Ponoglyph. But if things go awry, they're gonna deal with more obstacles than ever. Especially now Luffy's considered a Yonko. But I'm just saying like, so let me get this straight. With the world government saving the Yonko title for someone that's super fearsome, and they said, oh my goodness, Straw Hat Luffy, we gotta get this man that title Yonko. We gotta deal with him. But it's kind of funny, because in my mind, I thought, in my mind, I thought the world government don't want to do anything with the Yonko. They just want to stay away from their path, but with Luffy, they're going to actively pursue him. So it's like, hmm, are they changing up their game plan? Well, who really knows? Who really knows? And that's it. So, that's all my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So, you already know what time it is. Do your boy a favor if you enjoyed. And want to see more from this channel, subscribe today. Enjoy my Straw Hat fleet. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a video the second it drops. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. Follow me on Twitch for cool streams and stuff like that. If you're hungry for more One Piece content, check out my playlist. If you're, hungry, if you're hungry for more One Piece content, check out my playlist. King Kong on the like button while you're here. Thank you so much for watching. I can say so much more, but my crew needs me.